All right, guys, what's going on? There's no way I'm actually playing PF. There's no absolute way, dude. I'm actually on PF, dude. And you know why? It's because we have a new update. And um, you you want to know why else? It's because we haven't had a new update in like a year. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay, quickly before the video starts, I just want to say I'm sorry for taking a break after I just said I was off my break. You know what I mean? Like I, I was on a break and then I said I made a video saying I'm back. And that was like five days ago or six days ago or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably going to be busy cause I've been, I've been actually really busy working on a project, which a few of you might know about. Um, I'm building a house. Uh, that's, that's all you're getting. But yeah, guys, we have a new update in Phantom Forces. It's called, called the independence update, which I'm guessing it's independence day in Canada. Um, so that's why they've called it that and they've added um, a couple new Canadian stuff For example, the C7A2 is a Canadian assault rifle Which feels very very similar to like an M4A1 or like an M16A3 a little bit more solid But I mean it, it gives me it gives me those vibes, you know so yeah, okay in in reference to uh, The new gun or the, the there's two new guns. Actually. I'll talk about one later. Um, it doesn't really it doesn't really seem that fresh, you know, because like this gun literally feels like a, an exact replica of, of like an M4A1 or like an M16A3 with maybe two or three minor changes. And then, you know, the color of the gun is different and then the name of the gun is different, but that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of, it's kind of plain. It's kind of bland. It's kind of boring. Luckily for us, that's not all they've done in this update. Um, so I'll just go over the other new gun. Uh, right once I reset it's a new carbine. It's called the HK 51 B and as you'll notice This is the second highest ranked unlock in the assault rifles category And then the HK 51 B is the highest at rank 160 like they love adding these high rank guns I don't I don't know why who who's gonna like who's gonna like grind to rank 160 just for this gun Which I'll have you know, I don't really like it I don't like using it and I definitely won't like getting killed by it because the recoil is like crazy and the fire rates also crazy like crazy fire rate crazy recoil and then crazy bullet amount you have 100 bullets so like this is a really interesting gun it's definitely different than a couple other guns like it, it reminds me of the ppsh except maybe a little bit more unstable with more bullets it's going to be able to shred though close range uh maybe not from like anywhere medium or long range but like close range this gun's going to be pretty insane um but yeah that's the other new gun uh, I, I'll just try to get another kill with it. All right, there we go. I, I haven't, I haven't played in about five days. Ever since I did my last video, I don't think I've played this game. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we have new melees, which is pretty cool. So we have this world buster, which you can probably only get by unlocking it through a skin or through a case, which I think, I think I'm definitely not really going to use this if I get it, but I mean, it's cool. It's there, you know? Um, we also have the Zweihander. I don't, I don't know how to say that, but I think this looks pretty sick. Rank 185 unlock, guys. <laughs> but yeah, also we have this new keyboard, which you can now, you know, you can now smash your, your enemies in the head with your keyboard if you want to kill them that way. And then you have this M, uh, I don't know how to say that, uh, but it's a, it's a big hammer. Um, I'll just call it the big hammer. And then we also have a hockey stick in in spirit of Independence Day in Canada, and it has the little Canadian flag on there, uh, which is pretty cool. And then you can have a toothbrush if you really want to. So yeah, quite quite a few new melees uh, we got there. We also got a new skin or a new case. Um, the Canada case. It's a tier four, and I'll just unlock a couple of cases right now. But yeah, you can really see there. They're uh, they're giving Canada some love some some recognition that they've pretty much never had and um, I think that's pretty cool I, I like I like how they're making it a Canada update instead of a 4th of July update Which I mean it doesn't really affect me at all, but like I don't know I, I kind of like it cuz you know, I kind of like Canada um, Oh, we just got a legendary. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, man. Uh, but yeah other than that uh, What else have they done? We went over the new C7A2 the new HK51B um melee weapons and skin case now one thing they've done is they've added pretty much a million attachments i don't think I, it'd take like three separate videos to go over every single attachment that they've added um so i'll try to streamline it well first thing they've done uh which is pretty cool they've added this site color or the site settings um you can't really do it unless your site actually has um a colored reticle i'll actually show you on the mosin because the mosin has that option um so you can see right there, you can change the color of the reticle and they've added the old VCOG back, which I'm really, 
I'm really in love with this uh, this attachment. So thank you, Silas. Um, but yeah, back to the attachments. So they've added. I'm pretty sure they've added a couple new sites. Um, I don't really want to spend time looking through them. I know they've added this one, which is weird. Um, but th yeah, they've added a few new sites. They've added a lot of barrel attachments. This Halbeck device is pretty interesting. Here, I'll show you guys right now. If you shoot your gun, it'll reverse the recoil. So I think that's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm definitely never going to use that because it just it's disorienting. Uh, it, it's just pointless. But they've added a loud inert. makes your gun louder. Uh, CQC barrel makes your uh, barrel go away pretty much. I I'm not really going to get into the specifics of what every single uh, attachment does um, because that would just take forever like I said. They've also added the option to, I don't know, what is this pistol grip? Alright, you can hold your sniper as a pistol now. Maybe, I, I don't know. It it's, it's just another grip. Um, but yeah, they've added the option to remove the stock on any gun you please. Um, this this is the weirdest looking intervention I've ever looked at. Uh, they've added the canted animu and furrow sights, and and um, they've added they've added new ammo types for a lot of the guns. Uh, for example, the tracerless um, makes your bullets have no tracers. I think either that or it, like it makes them a bit lighter and a bit harder to see. Um, but they've added a lot of just different ammo types. Why can't I like, I can't even click anything. I think I've glitched out or something. I think they, they were having a little bit of like bugs uh, with the new update. Here, let me just, okay, I'll be, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that, we're back. Um, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, um, they've added a lot of new, like, really, really interesting uh, sniper, sniper attachments. Hold on, hold on, this, this server doesn't even have the update. All right, well, What's up with that? All right, hold on. All right, that is, that is crazy unfortunate. But I'm I'm rejoining. Hopefully, the game's full, so I'm just going to wait, you know. I I'm I'm joining the server that I was in earlier. You know, guys, it's been about 2 minutes and I'm still here. I'm doing this for you guys, okay? I just want you to know that I'm doing this for you. All right, we're in the server. We are in Trade inbound. The server <laughs> Trade inbound, guys. All right, hopefully this works. This better work. What what this is the same server, and I don't have the... Alright, well, in case you guys were wondering, um, it, it doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, it, it was working before my, my game glitched. Uh, but yeah, they've they've added pretty much a lot of new, like, ammo, ammo categories for guns, um, for the snipers and other guns. As I was saying, the tracerless bullets, pretty interesting. Uh, they've ha they've got this like new dust shot sort of ammo category where it can turn your sniper into a shotgun, or or I think it's only for the 50 cal's. But yeah, I mean a lot of just crazy interesting um, attachments that I don't think I'll ever use. They've also got one that like makes makes your damage go in half, uh, but your your muzzle velocity like doubles or whatever. So just really crazy like updates that pretty much favor uh, people who love different attachments and stuff like that. Um, I've never really been a fan of like adding attachments to my snipers or whatever. So I don't think the update's gonna really influence me that much. And that's what they've spent a lot of time on. This update was awaited for like months and mostly what they were doing were adding attachments and stuff like that, which like I said, I don't think I'm ever gonna use, but, but yeah, that's pretty much all the update is. Uh, it's not really a crazy big update like a lot of it is content like just kind of just adding stuff for the purpose of adding stuff If that makes sense not really in, in order to like improve the game or whatever um, They've just added a bunch of stuff that they thought would just make it more interesting Which I, I guess sure um, for me. It's not really doing it. I, I don't I don't think I like this update too much I don't really hate it. There, like, there's nothing that I just like despise about the update. It just, it, it seems kind of lacking in my opinion, kind of underwhelming. All right, guys, quick update. Um, finished the video and totally forgot to mention, along with the new guns, the new skins, the new melees, and the new attachments, they've also done a lot of gun balancing changes that I completely forgot to mention. I know they've reworked the FAMAS quite a bit, and it's now called the FAMAS F1, I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure they've also done changes to the TRG, made it pretty much 100 damage. Uh, it, the, the update's like glitching out. Um, hopefully by the time you guys are actually watching this video that the update should be fixed and everything should be working as normal. It, it's it's kind of unfortunate that they released an update that just doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, the, they'll, they'll probably fix it eventually, but... Like I said, the TRG um, has gotten a complete overhaul. It, it did in the test play, so I'm guessing um, I'm guessing it should also be changed 
in the main game. And I'm pretty sure guns such as the L11 um, now have an extended mag. I I'm pretty sure even with the 11, when you put on the extended mag, it's actually in the ammo category, so you can keep the straight pull bolt on with the extended mag, which I think is actually really beneficial to snipers. I completely forgot about that. Probably the one update that I'm actually quite happy about in, in the overall like update, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it actually turns the L11 into an AWP, which is pretty cool. Um, they have extended mags for the Mosin, I think, as well. And R700 has one, I think, as well. Uh, so it's pretty pretty interesting like um, a lot of a lot of different gun reworks I know they've been actually working on balance changes. Um, I don't know if the m60 did get that nerf that everyone's been asking for Including me, um, but yeah, they, they have made a lot of changes to every single gun if you want to check out Individually, um, what has gotten changed and everything feel free to go to the change log on just search up phantom forces change log on Google and uh, you'll you'll definitely see pretty much all the new stuff and there's there's just tons in there that i haven't covered I, i'm just i was I, I was here to just give you the general update of what happened in the update so uh yeah let me just cut it back to the crane site i'm, I'm sorry if this is really disorganized but i mean i, I haven't made a video in a while so like it, it's it's my fault but like just give me a break um but yeah that, that was pretty much it so i hope you guys enjoyed this and hopefully you guys um have different thoughts about the update uh, than I do because like I said, I'm not really a, a big fan of it, but I mean only my opinion guys But yeah, anyways, that's been it. I'm um, sorry for not uploading for um, Too long. I'll try I'll try to upload more, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace